We're here with Ian Wright, founder and CEO of Wrightspeed. Hi, Ian. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. So tell us about this car we have in front of us. Okay, this is a prototype that I built in 2005. Um, trying to explore how much performance you could get out of battery cars and to demonstrate to people that you can have as much power as you want and it doesn't make them any less efficient. Yeah. So you know, most people's view of electric cars is that they're heavy, ugly and slow <laughs> and we've had a hundred years of piston engines where if you want really efficient cars then they can't have any power. With electric drive it's not true so I thought I would go prove that. So how much performance and power does it have? Well it's, it's about 250 horsepower at the wheels, it's a 1500 pound car so it does 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Wow. And it does 11.6 standing quarters. So it's faster than the Roadster? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much faster. Much faster, yes. Wow. So, and you said how fast does it get to? Uh, top speed. Right now it's geared for 104 miles an hour, then you hit the rev limiter. Wow. So you do hit the rev limiter about here somewhere on this track, and then on all, on all the straights you can hit the rev limiter. But that doesn't actually slow you down much in a lap. It's the ability to accelerate out of the corners that really matters. Right. Hence the two seconds to get to maximum speed. 2.9. 2.9. Yeah, 60, yeah. Wow. Okay. And that's, that's why it's so streamlined too as well, instead of like a more traditional car? That's all styling. I mean, the aerodynamic drag is actually really bad on this car, it's 0.7. Um, so no, drag is actually a lot worse than the Tesla. Oh, okay. But you know, there's enough power to, to counter it. To 104 miles an hour, there's plenty of power. It's not a problem. Yeah. How, what was your time around the track? We didn't, we didn't get a time yet. Um, so we, we're saving the battery temperature for the time trial and we'll see if we can beat the lap record for electrics in the time trial. So the design goal for this car was 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds on street tyres. So if you want to do that on street tyres, you've got to have most of the weight on the driving wheels. So it's 68% rear weight. So that means the battery packs are back here. There's battery packs here, over the other side and one up in there. Oh wow. And then the motor is back in here. Uh-huh. And the power electronics up there. So all What kind of battery is it? Oh, they're lithium. These ones are lithium polymer batteries. And the, the, this battery pack is capable of about 600 horsepower for short bursts, but we're only pulling about 300 horsepower out of it. Uh-huh. Who's the supplier? Oh, uh, the Cocam. These ones are Cocam. Um, the batteries we'd use now, um, there's much higher power batteries available. In the same weight of batteries, we can get 1,000 horsepower continuously. Wow. And so we will. <laughs> and the next generation of this? Yes. And the next generation, we're going to a lighter motor, and we're using four of them. So we can get the motor weight down from about 110 pounds for a 250 horsepower motor down to about 40 pounds. So what's the 2.9 seconds goes down to what? You, you, you're limited by the tyres, so cer oh, okay. certainly under 2.5, but probably not very much under 2.5 on street tyres. So it does about 200 watt hours per mile, and given the energy content of a gallon of gas, that's the equivalent of 170 miles per gallon. So there you go, you can get super high performance, but you know, really, efficiency, really high efficiency at the same time. Um, so interesting things in here, this, this is the G meter which we're measuring the um, performance with and so on the, on the track it recorded 1.46 and on the left turns uh -huh. which they mostly are around here. Uh, this is the nav system and it's got GPS speed and it's got accelerometers as well. This is the battery management so this is how we know what's going on with the battery system, state of charge, temperature and so on. Okay. Um, and that's just taking, it's basically the equivalent of a fuel gauge. More yeah. complicated than and you said out here a big problem is keeping the battery cool. We're, we're asking the batteries for high power continuously. They're running full power most of the way around the track. Um, and so, you know, that's 600 amps. So they heat up. Yeah, <laughs> naturally. And you can only go two laps, you said, before... Before you bump into some sensible limit. I mean, you, physically the car could do more than that, but as the batteries get hotter it. and hotter, you, you run the risk of getting a thermal runaway incident, and that right. would be really not nice. There hasn't been any yet so far, right? There hasn't been any yet so far. <laughs> All right. And this is? Cooling air for the um, power electronics and for the motor. Oh, okay. Very cool. And you have to wear helmets, obviously. You have to wear helmets, it's yes. All open. Uh, and there's uh, four and five point harnesses. Do you, does anyone drive this on roadways? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Just I mean, every it's, day. It's most of it's driving. Yeah, I take my kids to school in it sometimes. Really? This is your everyday car? No, not every day. Even when it rains, I don't take it out. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I, I drive it on the street a lot. It's done eight and a half thousand miles. Oh, wow. A fair bit of that has been this kind of work. 
but yeah, it's done quite a lot of work on the street. Okay. So my, my little girl um, was desperate to wait until she was old enough not to have to have a booster seat so I could drive her to school <laughs> in it. <laughs> so now she's been to school in it. She's going to be a race car driver. She already is a race car driver. There's a, there's a class of kart racing for little kids. Really? Yeah, five to seven year olds. So she races a go-kart. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>